Okay, you know I always say you can do yoga anywhere you want, anytime you want. So let's go. Let's go to the bottom of Wallaman Falls and let's do yoga. Okay, here we are. Have a look at this. Let's go and do some yoga. Okay, <laughs> hello. I think it's time to do some yoga. So I'm gonna take my shoes off and let's work on your shoulders. Okay. Okay, so let's assume you've just carried your pack down the hill. It puts you in this forward flexion. So we're gonna spend a few minutes really getting the upper back to open. Okay, so let's get some terminology correct first. The head of the shoulders, it's called the humerus bone. And we need this to be in an external rotation. So let's put both arms out and externally rotate both of the shoulders until the palms face up. Okay, so when your shoulders are rotated externally, it's really simple to get the lift in the upper back all the way through the sternum. Okay, so we want to keep that. So now, let's lace up your hands in front of you, press your hands away, externally rotate the shoulders and as you breathe in take the arms all the way up pull the navel back to the spine and continue the turn in the shoulders breath by breath okay let the upper back lift press the little fingers back take a breath here and when you're ready let's exhale and bring the arms all the way down Okay, so in our pursuit of balance, we need to change the interlace. So put the other little finger to the outside and press the arms away again. Lift the chest, shrug those shoulders down and inhale and lift and lift. We squeeze those arms straight. We want them truly straight. Keep going, keep lifting, draw the navel back, soften the jaw and breathe. externally rotate those shoulders it might feel like the outer arms are turning forward good and then exhale all the way down okay so let's do one more shoulder stretch and I'm going to show you from the side I want you to lift your spine and you could be sitting any comfortable way you want and let's take the right arm up and down the back and then bring this arm again into an external rotation the left arm is going around and you're holding your hands behind you. Now, have a look at my flared ribs. I'd like you to pull your whole front body back so we can work the core here as well. Okay, now if your hands don't reach, you could have them flat on your back. Let me show you from behind. Or you could hold a rope or a belt. Okay, so lifting, drawing back and spinning those shoulders. When we move the shoulders, we move the thoracic spine as well. And that's what feels fantastic. Okay, and let's change sides. So the left arm is going up and down the back and the right arm around and reach up. Again, it doesn't matter whether you hold or not. Pull the navel back, pull the ribs back, stretch the elbows away from each other and enjoy the view breath by breath. Okay, and release. Now that the shoulders are a little bit open, it's a really good time to consider doing plank and dog pose, but we have to make sure that the core is engaged here. So let's be here, shoulders over the wrists and spread the fingers. Lift your front body up and then step back to plank. I'm on a bit of an uneven ground, but you know, that's okay. Find your breath, externally rotate the shoulders and lift up. And when you're ready, we're going to head back to dog pose. The hips are high, the hands are pressing down, and I'm going to try not to fall down the hill. Sitting bones lifting. First breath, let's have those heels high. Even bend the legs slightly. Find your shoulders. Let's stay with the shoulders. And straighten the legs. 
Lower the heels if you can. Take a breath, really pay attention to how straight the arms are. And then let's move with the breath slightly. Inhale, coming forward. And once you're in plank, it's a little easier to get that rotation in the shoulders. And as you exhale, move back to dog pose. And this time we're coming into up face dog. So inhale, lift the chest, press the hands down and roll over the toes looking up. And exhale, all the way back to dog pose. So we're literally, and let's keep doing that two more times. Inhale forward, exhale, stay. We're creating intercellular fluid in the joints, which helps prevent arthritis, calcification. One more time, inhale forward, exhale, stay here, check on your foundation. Next inhalation, lift and exhale all the way back to take another breath here and then bring your knees down to the floor and sit back on your heels lift your chest roll your shoulders open we're going to do just one more shoulder stretch so bring your arms forward keep the head of the humerus back and take the right arm underneath and around and you could have the backs of the hands touching or the palms touching Pull the shoulders down the back. Oh, it's so good. Press the elbows upon themselves. Feels so great. Neck, upper back. But again, we have to make sure that there's no flaring in the ribs. So keep pulling the ribs back. And then again, in our never-ending pursuit of balance, change sides, left arm underneath and around. Just press the elbows upon themselves. Shoulders down the back. Lift the chest. Whoa, and as you press the elbows upon themselves, you broaden your shoulders. Goodness, I'm really appreciating this after carrying that pack down the hill. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, and release. I hope <laughs> at the end of this little lesson in the incredible location of Wallerman Falls that your shoulders feel really fantastic. Now, you don't need a mat to do these things. You could be perched on a rock anywhere. Okay, thank you for doing yoga with me and I really look forward to seeing you on the mat again soon. Namaste.